The social media splits are a rough place where a person suffers humiliation, empathy, and pity can be hard to find. From Casper and Yoves trying to become a viral meme and fading badly, to Nasty C being made fun of by the whole world for saying that he can spank Eminem. Today we look at times rappers tried going viral but failed badly, starting at number 5 with the punch that devastated Pretty Ugly's world. On the 1st of October 2022, Casper and Yoves delivered a devastating knockout punch to Pretty Ugly during a celebrity boxing match that only lasted for 2 minutes. And it all started when reports surfaced that Pretty Ugly was going toe to toe with fellow rapper Caspano Vest in the second installment of Celeb City, a celebrity boxing exhibition, which is just a fancy way of saying that it's a pretend boxing match. Pretty Ugly stated that the whole thing was Caspar's idea, saying that Caspar reached out to him one night and was complaining about trying to make the fight with Nakam music happen, but it just wasn't happening. Caspar also added that he was also stuck in a bit of a predicament because he already secured the venue and date for the rematch with Nak, but still couldn't secure Nak as an opponent so he wanted Pretty Ugly to replace Nak music in the fight. He reached out to me and was like yo I'm gonna say some stuff on Twitter and I need you to respond let's just see what people are saying. I was like I got you. Although Pretty Ugly was warned by professional boxers that the weight difference between him and Casper was a massive mismatch to Pretty Ugly but instead he insisted that he had overcome much greater odds to make it in life. Then he went on to be beaten in the first First round, Pretty Ugly became a laughing stock as people were expecting a boxing match that lasted a little bit longer than 2 minutes. But most people were embarrassed for his wife as she had to watch her husband get his ass whooped. Perhaps this comment sums up this story in a pretty nice way. Pretty Ugly proved to all of us that he's only good at being a loving boyfriend and cooking for Bontley. But perhaps Pretty Ugly should have taken some notes from Nasty C as he clearly admitted that he wants no smoke with Eminem and that he was afraid of him. Even going as far as to writing an open letter to Eminem that read, Dear Eminem, I love you. If you see the video going around right now, don't pay no mind to it, just laugh about it and move on. Ending the letter with Nyak Saba. Well, it all started when the rapper went live on Instagram to engage with some of his followers while answering a string of questions that were asked by fans, where the rapper explained why he felt he could spank Eminem. I could, I'll tell you what, I could actually, I could actually. Spank Eminem. He further added that because Eminem could be relatable to some and not others, that then gave Nasty C an advantage over Eminem. The reason why I say this is because Eminem, recent Eminem, is not really relatable. He's dope, the bars are out of this world, but it's not relatable. If you're a rapper, you go crazy over it. If you're a normal person, it's like you get to the end of the verse and you're like, what did he just say? What? What the fuck was that? You know what I mean? Me on the other hand, I could do both. I could totally like make no sense to a normal person. You know what I mean? Or I could be super relatable. So I could spank him and him. I know you guys I know you guys don't believe this stuff. Well, let's just say some social media users appreciated Nestis's confidence, but many, many other users asked if he really thought he could come for Eminem. A guy with global sales of over 220 million records, Eminem is one of the best selling music artists of all time. So yeah, Nestis wasn't taken seriously. Some even thought that he was being disrespectful to the rapper himself. This is very disrespectful and I actually love Nestis. The fuck is he talking about? He can't even touch Royce. The fuck? But perhaps a better comment to sum up this story perfectly perfectly is. LOL, this gave me tears to my eyes. Can members of his team please take away his phone? Who has heard about MGK since he went up against Eminem? And yeah, maybe Nasty C might have deserved all the backlash that came with what he said, but here's someone who deserved better from the internet. Java is still as humble as he was growing up in Backville before all the fame, but online users gave little to no respect to Java as they started trolling him for not being able to answer a question during an interview. When Java was invited to Trending SA, a live studio based day talk show where dynamic hosts with distinct opposing views discuss trending topics. Java was trying to trend or at least start a trend but he tragically looked tongue tied when he tried to process a question that many online users believed was a simple question. I want to ask you before we let you go, um, two things. It's the Mandela centenary. Um, we obviously respect the legacy that was left behind by Tata Mandela but what legacy are you going to leave behind <laughs> what legacy am I gonna leave behind illegal scene wait did he not know he's giving MTN 
rank vibes Zulu niggas It was very unfortunate when Strava's English bundles ran out as he was unable to answer one of the host questions instead asking her in Isi Zulu to explain her question and some social media users were quick to shamelessly troll Strava for not being able to answer Now although the internet is filled with bad people it's also filled with some good in it A majority of online users came out in defense of Strava saying that I love it in a legacy let her explain or say in a language she can understand that's how a person should respond not answer if they don't know legendly why would you answer when you don't understand the question i love how shaba approached this but here's someone fans failed to defend let alone catch him while he was falling gravity was not on aka's side when he attempted to crowd surf during one of his shows as concept attendees were enjoying his performance the rapper jumped into the crowd in an attempt to crowd surf <laughs> But the group aka flew in to move the way, resulting in aka landing on the ground instead. And being the pro that he was, aka continued his performance while still lying on the floor. And of course social media was quick to make fun of him as this wasn't the first time aka had a crowd surfing fail. In 2018 he also jumped into the crowd wearing expensive jewelry and instead of crowd surfing, the very excited fans pulled him into the ground and he had to be rescued by security. Taking to twitter, aka replied to a user who shared the video of him falling by simply saying shit happened happens while also laughing at himself and i think this tweet pretty much sums up this story perfectly not a good day at the office i guess well at least aka was made fun of by fans online but he ended up laughing with them instead of blocking them unlike casper americans had a field day dragging casper Njovest name after he shared an unfunny video on his twitter timeline get the fuck out of here man Oh, that bush. He was hoping that the video would go viral and everyone would use it as a meme or sound in their social media skits. However, his plan didn't work as American Twitter users found the video embarrassing and straight out told him that they would never use it. Some people even went as far as to calling Caspanio Vest too old for social media. Purposely trying to be a meme is crazy. Old had to be doing anything. He thought this was the one. Mzante wasn't coming to Casper's defense while he was being roasted by the Americans as they instead listed several reasons why they weren't defending Casper Vest. And being on Casper's blog the least was one of the main reasons they chose to watch Casper dragged from a distance. We can't even defend him because he blocked us. The funniest thing is that they generally think that he's 40 something. LOL, they are calling him an old head. He turned off the comments, you guys are so mean. The social media streets definitely are a rough place when a person suffers humiliation. Casper Vest tried going viral and create internet history but he ended up embarrassing a nation to the point where some South Africans even denied he was one of them. On behalf of all South Africans, we don't know this man and we would like to distance ourselves from such nonsense. Plus, we as South Africans rightfully grant your permission to cook him until he deactivates his account. Now, if you made it this far on the video, um, thank you and please consider subscribing or as Casper puts it, Fuck out of here! All that bullshit.